Have you ever heard the rumor that we swallow spiders in our sleep? Hell no. It's a spine-chilling thought that has many of us sleeping with one eye open. But is there any truth to this creepy crawler tale? No, please, 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 no. See Let's dive into the web of facts and fiction. The belief that we swallow eight spiders in our sleep each year is a popular misconception. The thought alone is enough to send shivers down your spine. Why would spiders, tiny creatures that they are, venture into the sleeping mouths of humans? We are much larger than them and create vibrations that they are sensitive to. While it is technically possible for a spider to enter our mouth while sleeping, the chances are extremely slim. A piece of fiction that somehow spun into an accepted fact. But most spider species prefer seclusion and do not live in areas where humans spend a lot of time. So it's unlikely they would choose to crawl into a human mouth. Furthermore, it's generally recommended to leave spiders alone as they can be beneficial by eating smaller pests. They're not out to get us in our sleep, they're just trying to live their lives and help us out by taking care of other pesky insects. In fact, spiders are considered to be natural pest control agents and can help reduce the population of flies, mosquitoes, and other unwanted bugs. They play an important role in maintaining the balance of ecosystems and are an essential part of the food chain. However, if you do encounter a spider in your home and feel the need to remove it, it's best to do so without harming it. Yeah, how stupid you are! You can gently capture it using a glass and a piece of paper and then release it outside. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. This way, you can ensure both your safety and the spider's well-being. Hell no. Remember, spiders are more afraid of us than we are of them. So let's try to coexist peacefully with these eight-legged creatures and appreciate the valuable services they provide to our environment. You are crazy. Next time you see a spider, instead of squashing it, consider giving it a chance to carry out its natural role as a pest controller. Good luck with that. You might just find yourself with fewer unwanted bugs around your home. So the next time you come across a spider, remember that they're not the enemy. We're the enemies, Captain. They're just doing their part to keep our ecosystem in balance. And who knows, maybe you'll even develop a newfound appreciation for these fascinating creatures. Highly unlikely. So let's give spiders a break and let them do their thing. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more interesting facts about the natural world.